All right, welcome back to another episode of my unemployed, homeless, alcoholic life. I haven't posted in a while because I've been staying with family while I'm getting a fair bit of work done to the Troopy, including this, the Alu Innovations Kronos Roof, blah, 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 the Alu Innovations Kronos Roof Conversion. The roof conversion was done by Sean at Mission 4x4 and before having it done I had to remove the entire fit out uh, and the roof rack and get it all cleared out so that he had a clean slate to work with. This was probably the hardest part of the whole process. So this is apparently the updated version of the Kronos roof conversion. Okay, Sean here from Mission 4x4. I'm recording these videos for Michael. I'm working on his um, Troopy, so this is the roof conversion, the Alloy Innovation black one. This is the latest design of the Alloy Innovation with the hatch opens at the back. We'll show you that later. Now I did a fair bit of research before deciding to go with this particular roof conversion and I've got to say I think I prefer the non-updated version. Okay, let me explain. With the older Kronos design that I was expecting to get, as well as the Alicab Hercules design, the access hatch lifted at the rear and the main bed hinges from the very front. This creates maximal living space when the bed is raised, but it blocks the view out the back window. With the so-called new design, the access hatch is still at the rear, but it lifts with the whole bed, and the main bed hinges further back behind the driver's seats. This means far less living space and a lot of wasted space up top when the bed is raised, but you can see out the back window. Seriously? When you're creating a living space in such a small vehicle, every square inch of space matters, far more than a stupid view out the back window. I know what I'd prefer. So I did the math and this was probably the only time that the trigonometry I learned in high school has ever been useful in my adult life but I discovered that if I moved the lower fixing point of the bed struts forward just 85 millimeters, then the bed would lift a lot further, creating more room inside and less wasted space. It doesn't look like much, but this actually made a big difference. It sucks that I had to make this modification myself, and it's still not as good as the old version, but it's not far off it. And hey, I still get that view out the back window that's so fucking valuable for some reason. Also, because the bed now lifts up at the very rear, I noticed that the corners were wearing into the canvas after just the first day. I put some cloth tape in place to prevent this, but seriously, what the fuck? Alu Innovations, what are you thinking? If this is really the new design, then I think you're gonna lose a lot more customers to the Alley Cab. Uh, it kind of sucks because I didn't know that I was getting this up updated version until it was already on the roof, so I did not have a choice. Now, I don't think this was Sean's fault because he says that he wasn't told that there was even an updated version getting sent to him until he was in the process of installing this. So he had no idea either until it was too late. Um, yeah, it's uh, the difference between this version and the version that I was looking at is it's pretty significant actually. It just sucks that I wasn't aware that I was getting something that was different to what I thought I was getting, you know? It's, it's a little bit disappointing. Now the upper awning is bigger and better than other roof conversions I've seen, but I do think it's kind of ugly. I only generally use it when the weather calls for it. Now all three windows open up completely to reveal a fly screen. This fly screen is a very fine mesh. It will stop sand flies and mosquitoes and everything else. Uh, this screen also opens up to give you complete access to the outside world. There are two identical LED lights, one below the bed and one above the bed. It has a bright white light which is bright enough to light up the entire space. It has an orange light for anti-bug 
and it also has a red light which could only be for sexy time mood lighting. How comfortable is it? Well, the mattress that comes with it is fucking terrible. Um, I'm told some people use a, an egg cart mattress topper and that seems to fix it, but I think I'm gonna rip the thing out and put a much better mattress in there eventually. Um, for now, I'm dealing with a cheap mattress topper and it seems to be good enough, but not great. Mounting the external 270 awning and shower awning was super easy using the steel brackets provided by Mission 4x4. These are pop riveted on and glued and they seem super strong and do the job perfectly. Heat, I originally wanted to get the white one. Sean convinced me to go the black one. He told me it looks better. The availability on the black one was much higher so I wouldn't have had to wait as long. And um, it does look good, I'm gonna admit. I do like the way it looks, but I was concerned about how hot it gets. Sean told me that it's very well insulated and it shouldn't be a problem, but I have noticed on a few days that have only reached about 30 degrees already that it does get quite hot in there during the day. So that's a bit of a downer. I'm positive the white one would be cooler because it should not get as hot as it does in there during the day. It is bearable at night time, it's never been a problem and that's generally when you're in there. But, um, and during the day when the bed is up, that extra layer of insulation definitely helps. So hanging out in there during the day, it's not so bad. But um, it, yeah, it definitely would be cooler if it was a white one. Security or lockability, the rooftop itself when it's up, so anyone has full access into your vehicle. Um, it's as simple as that, it's basically just a tent. So there is no real security when the roof is up, but that's to be expected. When the roof is down, the only thing that holds it locked is the two latches on the back, and they can be padlocked. However, all it takes is a simple pair of bolt cutters to take a padlock off or even take off the little clips and uh, someone has full access into your vehicles. So I will be coming up with a way to lock it from the inside. I've already got an idea of how I'm going to do that and I'm going to do that before I leave this vehicle unattended anywhere for any length of time. The things I really like about this roof conversion are number one, how it looks. I think, in my opinion, it's by far the best looking roof conversion you can get for a troop carrier at the moment. Especially when it's down and compact, it just looks so much better than the Alley Cab and the Mulgo and all the other ones I've seen. The build quality is excellent, it's high quality canvas. Everything lines up, everything seems to be quite sturdy, solid, and it appears it's going to last a very long time. Uh, time will tell with that but um, yeah it's it's a high quality product it also does everything I want it to do in a roof conversion especially after making those simple mods and overall I wish I wish I could just love it but I don't but I'm still very happy with it I still think it's an awesome product I just think that the direction that Alu Innovation seems to have gone with it for what I would want is it seems to be the wrong direction.